just a quickie. As you can see, we've. Uh, I'm just showing you the dials. Cause it's been stood a little bit, but it's been up town. And oh, you can't see it, can you? Okay, so we've got half half temperature. Uh, quite tanks on a quarter. Um, the 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 fourteen is because I reset it. I actually was already driving when I reset it. Um, uh, so I just took it out for a little spin, basically. Bit of combined driving. Stop start through town and then on the motorway, and uh, and then I'll obviously on the motorway I was limited to seventy miles an hour, so I just diverted off to my private track and I got it up to ninety five. So uh, not too bad. It's working quite well. The water's pressurising. Um, I released the pressure uh, <coughs> previously, but it was. Um, it didn't at first, which was worrying me. Um, but I think there's an air pocket because it's been boiling over quite a lot. So, and the radiator is cold at the moment, so I just need to bleed it all out and get all the air out of the system, and then I think we'll be okay. It's okay when you're running the engine, and when you spin the engine up, you can feel the temperature. When the engine idling, there's uh, it goes cold. The, the heater in the car goes cold, which is classic. It means that you've got not enough water in your system, which is probably due to an air pocket in it. So I just need to flush it all through and get rid of all the air out, and then it should be okay. But yeah, did 15 miles, not a problem really. Uh, didn't seem to mind. Um, you know, it's 1100. It's not a sports car. It's not a high power engine. But it was quite happy at 95. You know, and uh, reasonable acceleration. I managed to. Uh, there was a 1600 Mercedes who was looking a bit uh, friendly, <laughs> and so we had a little bit of a to do at the traffic lights and it, it was holding its own against it I mean this is so this is a 1200 isn't it um, so you know it's it's pokey the engine's sealing up very well and uh, I think it's pretty good we've got a low mileage as you can see it's 57,000 ish and uh, yeah, a good little motor there's a door handle problem which I need to fix that's uh, I'll show you that <clears throat> so we've got this thing here, so you can see, I don't know if you can actually, it's very dark isn't it, but basically um, the door handle sticks open, which means that you can't you can't shut it until you put the handle in, see, and then it shuts. So there's that to tackle, that's a minor thing, and uh, missing parcel shelf, that's about it really, yeah. See, it's had a bit of a. I was just looking then, you can see there's a little bit of a, a dimply thing going on there, so it's obviously met something around there, so there's a little bit of bodywork on it there. When I say bodywork, I mean it's dented. <laughs> uh, down this side, it's alright actually, not too bad. Um, I'll have to run this video when it's outside so you can actually see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, it's. Um, if you can see it but there you go yeah you can see how it's dented a bit there so obviously it's been kissing things a little bit there I think but it's not scratched it's not pre paint it's not breached it's just pushed in so I don't know maybe it's pushed against the uh, the strip or something but it's okay <coughs> all the winds all the windscreen wipers seem to be working although the front windscreen wipers are a little bit eroded so they're leaving a little bit of tracking on it and uh, all the washers work. The back windscreen wiper seems okay, actually, which is quite surprising. But it obviously works. Yeah, okay, that'll do me.